And welcome back. Yes, it's finally done. I finished the Suzuki Samurai. The Jimny is the, oh, the right-hand drive version. The left-hand drive, I believe, is the Samurai. I think that's really the only difference. But um, that is what I built. I built the Suzuki Samurai um, for the Cancer Awareness build in 2015, which is now 2016. I don't know if I'm the last one to finish or not but it has been a long road but just like with a cancer fight of course you can't give up so let's get to it let's show it off it is right down here there we go okay and I have completely forgotten to set myself up with a pointer so I'll probably end up using this exacto knife because it's close. Let me start with the front. Of course I kept most things white. Is anything I could keep white I left white. Fender flares, the bumper, anything that just didn't look ridiculous still being white. Um, but uh, on the the grill there I definitely blackwashed that. Actually I did a new technique there. It's not blackwashed. I just painted it and then wiped with a q-tip that was soaked in brush cleaner and that is how that worked and that worked really good but um yeah i didn't put anything on the front because the only decals i have left say jimny and this is a samurai by the way while i'm thinking of that let me hold up a parts tree here i wanted to show you something all of the parts trees say samurai so I'm guessing at some point, some company, maybe it was Tamiya, maybe it was Fujimi, somebody released it as a samurai. But, I mean, it came with two dashboards, right hand and left hand drive. And I think the only difference between the cars is that the samurai is on the left. And I'll show that in a moment. Uh, okay, the wheels really like the wheels on this one. Let me get nice and close on that. But, um... It does have a good look to it. Certainly not my favorite build. This one gave me a lot of trouble. But let me come around to the back here and show you the back. I just went with the Japanese license plate. That's all I could think of. The rear, the spare tire looks a bit big, but what are you gonna do? Now I think I had shown earlier that this back seat reclines. That's the only thing that moves. But uh, certainly cool enough. Oh yeah, and obviously I, I stayed with the gray. We had a long time ago, last time I did an update, I was debating whether or not to leave the seats gray. But in hindsight, I think that was a good decision because I really like the contrast between white and gray and black. And um, let me show the dashboard. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in there. Is that going to work? Luckily there's no top, so let me go in there. Yeah, not working out so well. But I detailed the dash as best I could. Same thing. They're not black washed. They're just painted and then wiped with, um, well, these were so tight that I think I used a, a very tiny folded paper towel dipped in brush cleaner to um, make the lines um, crisp. But that is about that. Um, the, yeah, the only thing, <laughs> I'm of course going to point out the flaws. The windshield, the windshield was originally a big piece that wrapped all the way around and then came around and formed the side windows as well. So it was like a big 
C shape. And I didn't want I didn't want um, side windows, so I cut those off. But in doing that, now I've got nothing attached on the top, so it can kind of see through. But honestly, I don't like this thick windshield, so I may go in there and change that to just a thin piece of clear binder cover at some point. But okay, let me flip it over so we can show underneath. go. Pretty good detail on the undercarriage, um, which surprises makes me surprised that there is no engine. The hood does not open on it and the engine stops right there just to look at what fake bottom of the engine. And another curiosity, the um, there's no shock absorbers on this. I keep I kept on thinking or uh, trying to remember to look it up online. Does the Samurai not have shock absorbers? Because there were none in the kit. So there's none on the model. But anyway, there it is. It's all done. And I must tell you, I must say, it definitely gave me a lot of trouble all the way to the end. There was ongoing problems, redos, um, annoyances that I just won't even go into. All I know for sure is that it's done now and nobody can take that away. So it is finished. Uh, thanks to Cliff, Roadhog, who uh, put it on. And uh, gosh, sorry it took so long, but I know you don't even want me to apologize, but it's one of those things. Um, we always feel bad when we don't finish on time. But it is done now. And so that wraps it up for that one. And I'll put that on my shelf and I'll be proud of it. So what now? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not going to say which one I'm going to be building next because that is the kiss of death that ensures that that is not going to be a completed model. So I will just, I will list what's on the bench now. The C5R is still on the bench and it is about that far along. Might as well show you inside there. It's about that far along and um, the body's all decaled up and the other parts are decaled up as well that are all in there and tires are all sanded, wheels lying around I probably put the most attention on that one next uh, the engine you're seeing here is from the um, 58 Corvette and yes it's going to be yellow with a yellow engine um, other than that, I, I've still got the Digger Cuda sitting over there. Where's the engine? There it is. Uh, you know, that's what we do. We tinker with a whole bunch of them at once. But I'm not forgetting that I've got to get to that Tarantula, which looks like it's actually going to be a bit of an easy build. So not as time-consuming as this nightmare was. And uh, so I will very, very likely, I'm not going to say that I am going to, but I will very likely, probably, maybe, do this one. And this one, C5R, maybe, and this one at the same time. Because I've got all this room right here. So now that this is where I work, I've got this nice shelf that comes out so I don't have to move and it is empty now so one of those two cars or both of them will move down here and be the primary focus where the Samurai has been for months and uh, that's where I'm at anyway that wraps it up uh, thanks for watching everybody thanks for I don't know if you've listened all the way to the end but um, hey I finished one and I think that I've got I you know, I'm not going to say that I have a routine, but um, I think I've got my ducks in a row to the point where I can get my builds done. Um, I forgot to show the this. This does not look good to me. I don't like it. But I built it, so I should show it. It doesn't fit good. It doesn't look good. I'm not a 
top up kind of a guy. And so I am not going to be leaving not gonna be leaving it on there. But I wanted to show it. Almost forgot that. Okay then, that wraps it up. That's the Suzuki Samurai. Everybody have a good one.